at Hanover Fair 2018. I'm here with our partners IBG and their beautiful booth. There are a lot of KUKA robots in this booth. I'm with Salem Gokbash, Head of Research and Development for IBG Group. Salem, before we get into what we're seeing behind us here, I, I think this is about the coolest thing I've seen at Hanover Fair this year. And it has some LBR EWAs and some of Shunk grippers on it, but it's your control system that's really the key. Before we get into that, could you tell us a little bit about IBG for our audience to know? I mean, what are you guys specialized in? Yeah, we are an uh, integrator, a special company for special things, and uh, we are about 300 employees. We have a mechanical construction, electronic construction, we have software uh, departs in different technology, robot control, PLC, vision technology, and uh, everything is in our, our house, and KUKA is our system integrator. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this is really great. What I've understood about IBG from working with KUKA for a while now is that you guys really take on some of the more complex challenges that are out there. Uh, true, and uh, we have a lot of freedom to research and develop with uh, industrial components and um, we have a lot of freedom to uh, do uh, crazy and cool things. You will see this later, yeah. Cool. Um, I mean, I've seen in this booth many things from having a robot-robot collaboration with a camera that does sort of inspection yeah. uh, to some of the more traditional things I see here. And also, um, I've seen many things in the past with you guys that seem very cool. But this robot behind us has a bigger story. This robot is so cool, in fact, the Chancellor of Germany, Angela Merkel, was here a few days ago shaking hands with it. That's how cool yeah. it was. Before we get to that, tell me the story about how this came to be. How did we get here? Yeah, uh, we start three, four years ago uh, with robot collaboration and think uh, about how can the robot collaborate uh, with human. And um, we think that uh, not only the human must detect the robot and also the robot must detect the human. Yeah, as first it will be start with person tracking and he's logging with his face on the machine and in the robot and also we can detect with our cameras and software the emotion. Yeah, is a, is a laughing, is a tired. I mean, that's a really cool idea that, you know, as humans collaborate more and more with robots, yeah. sort of augmenting the human abilities and, and taking away sort of the dangerous, dull, dirty jobs, yeah. leaving the human to do some of the more high thought jobs. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the idea that the robot can pay attention to its human worker, co-worker, and figure out if that worker's tired or needs a break, maybe they slow down, that's very cool. Yeah. So that part is very interesting, but that led directly then to this, correct? Yeah. That's true. Uh, um, we have also the body tracking and body simulation. And how we do this, uh, we uh, can uh, track the hand and arms with 3D cameras and uh, calculate the kinematic and uh, also the bone uh, angel and transform it to the controllers and they make the move and the pass. So what we're seeing here basically is your, your colleague is when she moves her hands uh, and her arms and her fingers, the robot then mimics what she's doing. The idea is, okay, you're tracking the body, the robot is remotely performing that, but also you could start thinking about making programming simpler yep. because now the robot is just following a human movement, so there's no longer this long programming process. And even more specifically, you say AI then is the next step where it takes that and with just a few human inputs, yep. the AI then calculates the rest of the path and optimizes it and makes sure it recognizes where the object is yep. and all this stuff. The um, user must go to the machine without um, experience in robotic or programming, shows only the robot where to grip, where to move and where to drop. I wish you all the best of luck with the system in the future. Yep. And uh, there you go guys, from Hanover Fair 2018, we've got a very cool dual arm robot concept with the LBR UI, with some shunk gripper hands, but also the magic of it is as IBG has developed some software that controls it all, tracks the human, makes it easy to program. Thank you guys, we'll see you later. Orange Intelligence.